our today's topic is SAP Treasury Management. And with me, the person who would be conducting the session would be the Manikata. Manikata would, uh, would be conducting the session. Let me add a spotlight Hi, for Mani. Welcome, Hi, welcome everybody. to the Step Up Cycles, Mani. Yep, thank you, Parminder. Yep. So let me, let me quickly introduce Mani first, okay? So we were thinking about to do multiple session in finance. We have done finance overview session. A lot of queries come to me. They said, Parminder, why don't you do some advanced things? And people were asking about FSCM. So we were thinking about what we can do in FSCM. And then we had an association and partnership with Shivan Solutions. So money is basically managing partner in Shivan Solution and uh, uh, Dheeraj also works very closely with him. So uh, with the discussions, I came to know uh, that Mani is one of the very experienced guys in SAP Treasury. He's a big guy. He's having a 30 plus years of experience in SAP, uh, in, in finance and 25 plus years of experience in SAP Treasury. And he's a managing partner for Shivan Solution who are working their businesses in Hong Kong, Singapore, and they also have legs in India. So we are collaborating with them to identify the more opportunities, creating more projects, uh, giving some resources from India for them. So that part we are working. So I, I, I thought uh, asking money that whether it would be good if he can conduct, he's the expert, if he can conduct the session. And he said, yes, why not? So money, when I said that FSCM treasury management, he's one of the best of label. 15 plus years of experience, of, sorry, 15 plus project experience. In yeah, yeah. 25 plus years of experience in SAP treasury. And he has worked as a company secretary and he has worked into the multiple uh, models uh, um, uh, and the uh, positions in different companies. So he's the, he's, he's the one of the best one which I can call for SAP Treasury Management. So that's why we have invited him. And I'm very happy he has given his time. He's a very busy guy. So we would be having a small 45 minutes to one hour session. So everyone, please, please take a lot of notes. I'm saying take a lot of notes because at the end we are also having a quiz and the top three uh, people would be would be getting rewards. During the session, if you have any question, please make sure you are putting your questions on the chat window. Okay, I would be reading it out and I would be asking it to Mani and the, at the end we'll be having open session. Okay, so Mani with this information, welcome. Thank yeah. you for joining. Thanks for giving us time. And now the platform is yours. Thank you, Parminda. Thank you so much. I think it is a good introduction about myself. And uh, yeah, welcome crowd. So, so before I start the SAP Treasury, let me feel free to uh, uh, introduce myself as well. Okay. Um, my, if you look at my background, I actually was a, a commerce graduate and completed my chartered accountancy and as ICWACS in India and then moved to SAP career, okay? And the, my first opportunity is just by SAP FICO and thereafter moved to Treasury in the last 25 years. I was doing various implementation and end-to-end uh, -end implementation in, in US, Europe, and Asia. Now Asia I'm working on, okay? So before I start SAP Treasury, okay? Let me share the slides first, okay? Can I share the screen? Myself, yes, please go ahead. Yeah. Please go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this is about myself, which I already introduced. I'm up, uh, I'm the managing partner of the Shivan Solutions, Hong Kong. And uh, okay. So this is the big big background about my company. Okay. So moving to SAP Treasury. Before I start SAP Treasury, but why we need to understand what exactly is Treasury functions in an organization. Okay. So treasury functions are responsible for managing the cash. Uh, Mani, just so, when you are starting, can you go on to the full screen mode? Oh, full screen? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, presentation okay. mode. Yes, yes, okay. Thank you, thank you for that. Yeah, and uh, what treasury, treasury department or treasurer in a company responsible for? Take an example. If you look at the finance manager, they look at the financial accounts, how it is the operating profit and this kind of uh, elements in the organization. But if you go to the treasurer, they mainly focus on the cash profit. They don't care about operational profit. They care about the cash profit and uh, cash operations 
uh, anything related to cash they will manage okay even they project the cash budgeting and also the cash con uh, consumption and they do the variance analysis in relation to cash okay and uh, just comparing if somebody want to see in organization if they want to set up a plant okay they, they, they the treasurer has to approve the budget to set up the plant that means he has to source the cash in order to for any kind of capital expenditure or even an operational expenditure that's where the treasurer importance in an organization is very crucial in terms of managing the cash okay even payroll has to depend on the treasurer to provide the cash even what treasurer will do treasurer has to have the visibility over the cash how much is my receipts from my customers receipts from my capitals okay are there any investment maturing or he has to have the visibility of all the receipts and have the visibility of all the payments then only he able to manage his work properly that is his work in in regardless of sap or non sap doesn't matter okay that is his day to day work in the treasury department that's what the treasury does okay okay then how sap helps the treasurer this is where the sap application treasury application started how how can make how can uh, the sap application can help the treasurer in order to meet his day to day operation that's where it started okay so what are the modules are within the functions that are available for the treasurer to use within sap how they help the treasurer in order to manage his work hope we understand now what exactly the treasurer requires from from the sap the yes, thing is a kind of business it's very clear it's very clear yeah. thank you and to just to uh, summarize what i understand and for the people yeah. who, not from the finance background anything related to the cash guys is uh, basically sap treasury management will help and sap treasurer would be handling it to simplify as such yes yeah. just go ahead okay so how okay what exactly the treasurer needs from uh, from the sap system is the of course sap treasury can only be used by the client who implemented sap that is a prerequisite okay so the sap treasury module will be able to harvest all the cash flows that are built within the different different applications within sap what applications sap has for example sap financial sap sales and distribution sap materials management sap hr sap transaction management okay these are all the different applications which will at the end of the day in their in, the, in their operational cycle it will lead somewhere the cash point okay suppose take an example if it is a production planning does it involve cash anything no production planning doesn't involve cash because it is a subset of the materials management materials will go there and product product will come back there is no cash there but how about the materials management in order to buy the material you need to pay the cash the cash part is involved so this is where all the applications which will have the element of cash so those applications will contribute the sources of the cash flows into the treasury okay so those the moment the purchase order created the moment the purchase order in an organization created to purchase a raw material okay immediately it will automatically have the setup within that uh, uh, materials management module when the purchase order will be created when the goods will be delivered when the payment has to be made to the payment to the vendor okay the timing is determined the moment the purchase order is created in the system which means the moment they create they know when the cash is going to go out from the to purchase that material okay so the moment the purchase order created based on the projected cash flow due date that will give the visibility to the treasurer when the cash need to be paid similarly when the sales order is created treasurer will have the visibility when that order will be coming into the cash that is what otc order to cash okay so like that like that 
each and every cash flow once it is registered within the sap it will get the visibility to the treasurer in order to uh, position the cash and finding the funding needs of uh, once he has the visibility what does he do okay if there is a shortfall coming in the coming week or two weeks later okay the treasurer will go on try to uh, borrow the money or uh, get the some intercompany fund he has to find out the venues to fill the shortfall okay similarly if there is any excess cash is going to come okay over and above the operational needs excess cash will be visible then the treasurer will try to find out where to invest the excess cash okay so that is what the treasurer major responsibilities and the cash okay one second let me put the pointer by the time okay. we are putting the pound uh, pointer for the logistics guys uh, money has yeah. explained very clearly that how for the logistics sales and procurement the treasury and the cash management would be coming into the picture and yeah. i know that you guys would be having a lot of requirement of when sometime we discuss uh, uh, account payables account receivable integration that how the overflow of cash or how the underflow of the cash would be seen and sometime it is asked directly to the uh, uh, functional consultants logistics consultant so you can always say that sap treasury management and the cash management has answers to it so now you would yeah. be having a quick idea yeah money let's go ahead yeah so just to explain what are the benefits of this because it is very difficult for the people to uh, find the like a client what is the treasury how does it help me the business this is only one part truly speaking so when it comes to the there are many many applications within the treasury itself okay one is the cash forecasting liquidity planner this thing okay so even the treasury has a functionality where it the uh, a company can be able to determine the cash profit okay i think people may surprise who are not from finance may not be familiar with what is cash profit but the operational profit sometimes even though you have the operational profit is so huge but maybe the cash profit could be negative that means the organization is not doing very well okay so the cash profit is so important for the that's where the treasury will come in crucial role to play uh, in terms of the financials that's where they have to ensure the treasurer has to ensure the financial healthiness of the company okay so the 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 sap treasury applications will provide the support for the treasurer to operate the, his function that is very important okay so cash forecasting planning and simulation this this provide this this application this function will provide the visibility of the cash to the uh, treasurer it could be short term mid term long term okay the moment cash flows are entered in this uh, sap system anywhere okay that will get the visibility to the cash for cash report okay money so, just a question uh, uh, how far the cash forecasting we would be able to see it is it a one month one year how far the cash forecasting would be visible uh, it is uh, i truly speaking it is unlimited Okay, oh, the wow. way the the way yeah the way the cash is the, let me explain a bit more in this one okay so yeah. the cash per cash report is very flexible okay first the uh, the architecture the 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 front end of the cash per cash report looks like okay the day wise each day each day uh, how is the per cash it will have twenty three columns okay twenty three days. you can see in the 23 columns you can fill all 23 days all 23 weeks or 23 months okay or first two weeks is by days and second two weeks is by weeks okay last by month okay but the last column is going to be later okay the later column in the last one we is going to pull all the cash flows which are belong to the future which means if if there is a deposit which is maturing in 2030 once it is registered in the system 
yes the maturity which is uh, uh, which is going the cash is going to come in 2030 has a visibility to the cash for cash report okay even the purchase orders okay even the delivery of the goods sometime due in the five months later okay then the visit, the payment related to the purchase order will have the visibility to the cash uh, treasurer via the cash management report okay great great and, it perfectly yeah. makes sense i remember when i was doing a consulting uh, we were having a same kind of requirement ki how much we need to pay to vendor in advance please let us know and we mm -hmm. created one application at that time 6 7 years ago uh, uh, i was never knowing that the cash management has that kind of features coming up so we created application only tra tracking the purchase orders and giving the forecast to the people so now it's available from standard uh, yeah. sap function that's that's mm. really makes sense for many of the clients so people yeah. who are with us uh, does uh, the explanation make sense the forecasting it would be useful for the clients to see that how much cash they need to have even in the next 6 month 6 month also so to be yeah. with us please mention ms on the chat window if it makes sense ms on the chat window everyone thank you thank you for responding ashish okay thank you the, yes please go ahead mani yeah thanks for me and the cash position cash position is like what is the current the, the the current day what i have in my bank account okay and by end of the day today what i am going to have okay this is very short term very today tomorrow kind of stuff okay what is my position in my bank account do i have my bank account is overdrawn anything okay that is the visibility that will be coming from the bank statements actually cash position is the source for the cash position is bank statements how much i am going to have how much is my available cash in my bank account okay the that will happen the moment we get the bank statements from the uh, on day to day basis we always get the priority bank, bank statements and intraday bank statements as well that will give the visibility of the cash position in our bank account okay and the bank account management is opening the bank account how many approvals in order to make the payment what is the approval structure for each bank account for ap payments for treasury payment that will be defined by treasurer okay so this part i will bit cover later let me cover these parts like what exactly here involved okay so the payments the, the accounts payable okay payments on the uh, uh treasury payment treasury payments are like uh, uh, one of the important po point for treasury also is how to do the cash pooling cash pooling means uh, cash pooling means uh, they they uh, they want to concentrate the cash into one bank account so that they can have the better bargaining power in order to have the right interest rate okay what does it mean is if you have the 100 bank account each bank account has like 1 million 1 million uh, balances okay then your bargaining power in order to gain any interest is very less but if you able to concentrate all this 100 100 bank accounts cash into one okay then you will have in one bank account you can have 100 million uh, dollar or whatever okay so the 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 interest rate on that one will be more even though we may be talking about small uh, small amount of money but treasurer doesn't want to compromise in order to gain any kind of dollar okay that is very important so how does it the cash pooling will help is maybe in india still it is a, uh, a baby kind of operation i am not sure but in us europe the cash pooling happens automatically for example if i have city bank account across all over us then once i uh, i will give the standing instructions to the city bank all my company bank account all these bank account should be concentrated to one bank in city bank new york like that okay then at the end of the day automatically cash will be swept into those bank accounts and then they will use for the money market fund for day uh, overnight investment they they will use for such kind of purpose okay so the cash pooling is one of the uh, object uh, also one of the functionality of the cash uh, management okay 
within the same bank all the bank mm-hmm. accounts are within the same bank then the cash pooling automatically happens by standing in a section within that bank okay, okay. but uh, normally if the other banks are also involved okay suppose if you have the city bank bank of america or chase bank or icici bank okay mm-hmm. different bank accounts cash pooling will happen by standing in a section or you may have to manually push the cash the treasurer that is one of the treasury function in order to move the bank to bank transfer in order to move from bank of america to city bank or icici bank to sbi okay the treasury function will help to move the bank to bank transfers normally ap ap payment module will only help to pay the vendors it doesn't have anything related to move within the bank accounts within the organization okay uh, similarly hr can pay to the uh, employees via the bank account but who is going to fund the hr account who is going to fund the ap account is the concentration account within the company okay they are, this is going to fund to those payment accounts okay so that's where the when the how they do the transfers for those is within the treasury function there is a functionality to trigger the how much to transfer okay and the payment instructions will go automatically to the bank via the swift or pin network or host to host super so, super cool functionality uh, is just uh, kind of a bulb on for me that uh, i always thought that how these all things going to happen because what happened with the companies when they work they would be having sometime cash of million dollars into different banks and then giving them some for, uh, uh, giving some them some insight that these need to be transfer transferred cash pooled into one account and maybe for the overnight investment or a week investment can make can be done even that can generate for the big companies million of dollars so these yeah. kind of functionality mm-hmm. you would always think that why sap charge extra for them because these generate extra money for for this this is kind of a bulb on for me for me that how cash pooling helps that how the our account payable ends and after that there are a lot of function feature which business required which would be given by fscm sap tre- uh, treasury management with cash pooling as money explained explain if you also have bulb on on cash pooling please type on the chat window bulb on quickly bulb on on the chat window great thank you thank you balaji thank you ashish yes money let's go ahead thank you parminder yeah so how the banks are integrated to the uh treasury or the client right how the, this is a third party banks is third party client as the managing sap okay how the integration happens is via the swift or sap pin, pin network okay sap pin network so but uh, these are the cloud solutions uh sap integrated with sap has a application to connect to the swift or connect to the sap pin network what is the functionality of this swift and sap how do they help how do they help the question mark okay normally in all over the world all the banks are connected to swift network may not be the part of sap pin network because sap pin network is still only a four three four years old network swift is a network almost like uh, i hear for the last 30 40 years okay swift was there i don't know maybe earlier than that but i know for the last 30 40 years okay the swift all the banks all over the world are part of the swift network so when they are already connected to swift network if i able to have the subscribe to the swift for okay as a, as a communication channel then the i only need to send i only need to establish the connection with the swift otherwise what is the what is the drawback if i don't have the swift if you have the multiple bank banks like icic bank or sbi or the bank of america city bank in, in order to communicate to them you need to establish the host to host connection with each and every bank independently 
Okay, that means you have to invest a lot of software, a lot of infrastructure on your side in order to establish the connection. Whereas if you're able to subscribe to the Swift, then your host-to-host -host connection is only with the Swift, then Swift will connect to all other banks. I only need to send it to the Swift. Then there is a, you see, when you are sending these files to the Swift, there is a identification, uh, like in the header, header record of the file, what is the destination bank? Sometimes it is Citibank, sometimes it is Bank of America, Swift will identify those, okay? So this is all the payments will go, we can be able to send to the Swift and Swift will send to the respective banks, the file, okay? And also we can receive the communication back with the acknowledgement of those payments, accepted, rejected, okay? Via the Swift only. Similarly, via the Swift, we also receive the bank statement and able to upload to the SAP, which will perform the bank reconciliations automatically. How many of you, I don't know, finance people, but bank reconciliation is something, is a control parameter. What I mean to say is, if there is no bank reconciliation, there is, that means the, the client is open for more fraudulent activities within the organization. Bank reconciliation is the one of the control point, control check in order to prevent the frauds, uh, fraud, fraud, fraudulent activities within the organization, okay? So bank reconciliation also one of the treasurer's responsibility as well. Uh, Mani, I just have a question on this integration on the, uh, the SAP financial services and networks and then SWIFT. So uh, this SAP financial service networks, we need to pay extra, right? For this service or yes, it's yes. Come, come part of the solution with the SAP treasury solution. Uh, I think uh, 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 it is an extra service, additional service. Additional service. And if, if yes, we yes. are not uh, opting to that service, still we'll be able to do all the functions or we, we need to do some extra enhancement at our end. No, if a, a pin network is there, then the uh, communication is easier because SAP has its applications where uh, the communication, the, the plugins are available between these two systems, easy plugins, okay? okay? Plug and play kind of stuff is available between these two systems, SAP and SAP Pin Network. Similarly, okay. SAP and Swift also, there are the plug and play tools are there. Mm. SAP already built in the program where the uh, yeah, we can able to send the communications easily to the Swift and the SAP pin network. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, people who have the questions, please type your question in the chat window. I will also read it and ask to money. Okay, you can uh, you put it sir, in the chat window. Uh, sir, this is Bala. Uh, Bala just told on we are uh, give you the unmute access at the end of the session. By the time, please type your question in the chat window. Okay, Bala. Okay, later we will answer the question. Yeah, yeah. Type in the chat window. Okay. Then uh, coming to the other part of the, uh, I'm coming out from the cash bank, this kind of stuff, and how to manage the investments and borrowing by the treasurer. Okay. So this is one of the topic where the treasurer can uh, uh, go into the market and borrow the money or invest into the market, okay? So uh, this, is, this is a functionality that can help the treasurer in order to place the trade, okay? Place the trade or borrow the money or have the overdraft facility if, uh, if they want to have or have the letters of credit, trade financing. All these functionalities are available in the transaction management within the treasury, okay? You can place, what is the, what is the uh, benefit by implementing the treasury, why can't we manage the Excel? I place a deposit, okay? Uh, that then I can post the general entries into the account. And at the month end, I can post the accruals. At the month end, I can post the FX valuations, okay? Or mark to market valuations, okay? Whatever I'm telling is a, is a regulatory requirement, okay? Any kind of investment, okay? should do the mark to market valuation as per the IFRS or IAS or US CAP. Okay, these are the accounting standards. We must do the mark to market. So 
but instead of doing manually this treasury function will help them to do automatically system will automatically calculate the accrual will automatically calculate the market to market valuation and does the posting to gl accounts automatically the moment the trade is entered into the system it automatically update the cash management it automatically update the accounting okay it is fully integrated system that is the uh, advantage uh the the by using this application okay money has told very beautiful thing i hope you guys are making a note of it i have felt that this question coming from the client multiple times we tell some functionality and client opens excel sheet i can do excel sheet in this i can do excel sheet in that sometimes i feel that the excel is the biggest competitor of sap so money has highlighted that what kind of additional functionalities we can get it by automated the things in sap treasury management compared to only th- doing the things manually in the excel thank you thank you mani for that uh, we have a couple of questions mani one is that uh, the quick question from setu uh, the sap financial services does it connect with swift network is there an inbuilt swift network connection between sap financial services and uh, swift yes that is also yes that is also there because the the sap pin network i am not sure all the banks can go to the sap pin network the the the, uh, the this is what i have not used sap pin network yet okay but i always use a swift only with my client uh, but based on my understanding sap pin network connects to the banks via the swift network okay that makes sense balaji has some, a question if the if the bank reached directly to the pin network then not only sap pin network you see the, the 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 difference between these two is one thing you need to understand okay the bank swift is only connect to the banks swift is only connect to the banks whereas sap pin network is not necessary bank any sap clients can be reached to the pin network okay can be reliance and tata can integrate join the pin network and whatever be the trade stocks that are exchanging they can do the settlements through the pin network they can communicate their files in the electronic files anything with the pin network there is a difference between the swift and pin network pin network can be used by any client whereas swift mostly i have not seen any non bank non financial services company using the swift okay as their communication partner you okay. understand the difference pin network is open for any sap client setu said got it thank you thank you mani mm-hmm. uh, balaji has a quick question whether the bitcoin movements also it has some help to it and if the manual config we can pass to swift uh, pardon bitcoin movements can it help with the bitcoin movements also treasury management uh, I, i am i am not sure on that one <laughs> that's too advanced okay that is too advanced <laughs> okay let's, i let's doubt i doubt i doubt okay bitcoin transactions are part of the swift or anything any client is making such kind of transaction but okay. i really doubt okay okay, okay? it's good but let's, no let's who then. knows within the coming one year it may be formalized okay yeah. so yeah. this is the 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 also the uh, another part is this the, the treasury is integrated with the market data uh, vendors whether it is bloomberg routers okay who are providing the interest rates market interest rates market uh, uh, prices for the securities and uh, apex rates okay indexes all this market data will come from the third party to the treasury system and uh, and also sap can integrate and able to do the trade com- trade confirmation okay earlier we talking about the payment confirmation here trade confirmation if you place a trade the broker will send you the uh, empty message that empty message you can do the counter confirmation all these functionalities are available within the treasury management okay and hedge management is uh, i am not sure how many people are uh, okay, maybe knowing uh, are dealing with the stock market okay hedge management is protecting against the losses okay is protecting against the risk of market fluctuation the hedge management will help uh, uh, in that point okay so where uh, like if you have exposure to uh, foreign currencies if you have 
so exposure to foreign currencies for example uh, are taking indian companies okay if they have exposure to pay us dollar vendor for example okay the treasury functionality will be able to gather all the information from all the company codes within the tcp client and give you the exposure report how much is us dollar exposed in the coming month payment okay so based on that in order to protect against the uh, exchange rate fluctuations they can enter into the swap contract or the forward contract to buy the us dollar at the current rate okay of course they may pay a little bit more premium okay so these kind of uh, calculation exposure calculation functionality okay those things are part of the hedge management and uh, fx exposure uh, fx exposure is the most most common thing okay second one is interest rate exposure that means uh, how uh, interest rates also very fluctuate very uh, very you know, nowadays fluctuation on daily basis right so how 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 many positions are uh, exposed to the fixed interest rate and what is the interest rate okay uh, the any any kind of uh, um, risk mitigation plan will be handled via the hedge management okay so this is a, this is in brief about this is a brief topic about what we discussed about the treasury okay so yeah the above is a solution which are supporting whatever i discussed right now okay so then before i go to topic anybody has any more questions on the treasury yeah i have one more question from sethu is uh, uh, whether the file transfer from sap swift happens uh, sap to swift it happens through edi no no Uh, SAP to Swift, Swift always support their own formats. MT messages, okay? MT suppose the payment confirmations are MT one zero one, MT one zero three, okay? They will use those messages. And uh, similarly, suppose trade confirmations also via happens via Swift. MT three hundred for the foreign currency trade confirmation. MT three twenty for the uh, trade uh, like deposit trade confirmation, okay? Uh, and also there are some pre sale messages within the swift that is mt199 399 okay those are the uh, messages edi not supported edi must go through via okay let me also tell you swift has offers you mt messages as well as file act files file act files if you subscribe to the file act files you can send any file that there is doesn't matter whether it is within that any text file you can send it via the swift any text file which includes can be edi uh, a20 or any nacha file format or pain file format okay any format but that should be a subscription that is a file act service file act swift offers empty message service as well as file act service if you subscribe to the file act service yes you can send any kind of file from sap to bank via swift okay that answers the question yeah thank you thank okay. you mani uh hmm. the uh, bala has one question related to uh, manual config by pass swift manual manual config by pass swift i am not sure what it is exactly bypass bypass swift bypass swift. You know, manual config uh, by pass swift you you know that right we are we are, we are doing a lot of business in russia and uh well, i'm not sure your voice is not at all clear bypassing swift manual configuration to bypass the swift but swift is a communication channel if you bypass swift that means you need to establish the host to host connection with the bank that is always an option okay 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 so going to the next slide of course we will take a subsequently also question and answer please type your questions there okay going to the i think we spent uh, more, more how much time we spent on this one 
difficulty for the uh, in the organization is if i have to approve uh, five or uh, three four approvals are there for the payment each approver has to log into icici bank and approve the payment and uh, log into sbi review and approve the payment okay these approvals are each and also you need to open the keys okay the higher level officials in the company are very panic about this one or oh, to typing this uh, security code and logging in internet okay this, this they don't want to handle that right sap provided the bank communication management where you can approve in one place for all banks in one 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 click of the button okay then the payments will go automatically to the respective banks automatically by batches okay sap provided the functionality what they should do is that is once the ap payment is processed okay then based on the configuration established payment rules established within sap bank communication management system will send out the email notification to the respective approvers with the payment batch included along with that okay what approver has to do the moment they receive the file they need to click the object whatever they have in the workflow and it automatically opens up review the payment how much is the total and if they want to drill down the individual total or individual vendor payments also they can see once they are happy they click the approve button of the payment batch once they approve then if the request second approval then automatically the same payment batch will trigger the workflow to the next level approver that approver also approves then only it will go to the bank the payment batch will go to the bank even after the second level approval if you have one more approval then the workflow will be triggered to the third level approval so that means you can establish as much approvals up to six or seven approvals you can establish okay uh, different layers for each payment batch then the workflow will be triggered and send the payment batches to the bank automatically then the approver doesn't need to log into the bank and approve the payments again the moment bank receives those they are straight through payment okay bank will process them immediately okay so that is what will help that then once the payments are sent then payment status and monitoring once the bank receives the payment batch they will put the into payment processing if the any in any incorrectness like incorrect swift code or incorrect bank account number some validations it happens at the bank level okay so they can reject the payment if the validation doesn't pass through the rejection notice come back and update the status in the uh, status monitor okay and uh, the payment factory and in house bank and bank and swift connectivity these are what we explained earlier okay and cash and liquidity management is electronic bank statements electronic bank statements sap support most of the bank statement formats electronic bank statement formats that are available in the world okay like pi file empty map file or multi cash okay coda format there are so many payment formats so many formats are there for electronic bank statements sap supports all those formats and also it will provide the converter as well if any of the bank statement not supported we can develop some code and convert the file into the bank uh, sap readable format and upload to the bank what will happen if i upload the bank statement to the sap okay people have the answer for that okay 
that is uh, the sap the moment you upload the bank statement for a basis it automatically does the posting to the gl account i am not sure how many accountants are here okay for all the payments it will credit the bank account and it will debit goes to the some clearing account or it goes to the uh, customer account or vendor account okay depend on how you configure the bank statement posting rules that is that is a configuration so much that that requires some training and understanding some practice in order to understand those how does it happen okay but the moment you update the bank bank statement upload the bank statement to sap it does the automatic posting to gl account and uh, any unreconciled items it will trigger the notification to the respective reviewer or responsible accountant okay that is the uh, functionality of the electronic bank statement cash operations i already mentioned to you liquidity management also is part of the cash management which i explained okay the cash the, the liquidity management is uh the visibility from the accounts payable or accounts receivable everything will flow into the uh, cash for cash report which will give the visibility for the treasurer okay bank account management is mentioned earlier it will opening closing bank account or uh, uh, what are the who are the approvals to the bank account okay uh, how many approvals are there and what are those payment rules approval approval rules okay these are all the bank account management will will handle and the trade trade management is debt and investment management if i want to borrow the money if i want to invest the money okay this front office back office front office will have will do the uh like front office will find out where to borrow the money okay uh, what options i have to borrow the money who is going to give the lower interest rate the to borrow the money okay this is the analysis happens within the front office and they place the trade and uh, once that place the trade then the middle office do the uh, middle office do the counter confirmation okay then uh, approval then do the accounting okay then accounting all, all the accounting is automated everything is a click of button whatever i am mentioning okay click of button the moment you click the button it automatically posts to the gl account depending on the configuration uh, mani i just have one quick question based on your mm-hmm. experience of uh, uh, 15 uh, asset treasury management project implementation there are so mm-hmm. many functionalities are there right what are the top 3 or 4 functionalities which every business look for or by implementing those every business would be getting a definite uh, benefits what are the yeah, top three the, functionality top three or four functionalities out of it actually the first thing is this one is very important electronic bank statements electronic bank okay statements. yeah okay. bank reconciliation is the highest priority one okay Now, all the clients have implemented the cash forecasting and uh, cash position and forecasting liquidity management okay that right. is a must thing Okay. Okay. The third part is uh, the like the uh, in debt and investment management. These three are I have seen in many clients, all clients almost these three parts. This is a mandatory. This is a mandatory thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Without this, company cannot survive. Okay. So if the company mm-hmm. works with without treasury management, they have only okay. you know FICO. Mm-hmm. then how mm-hmm. this electronic bank statements happens a uh, manually. manually manually means via the spreadsheet via the spreadsheets okay yeah or if they have oracle financial then they have they also have the electronic bank statement i think the electronic bank statement is something is still a baby market within the asia not mm-hmm. all the banks have the capabilities of electronic banking okay mm-hmm. uh i should not say baby market it is bit advanced compared to 10 years ago uh, but still many of the clients still not up to date in terms of the uh, electronic bank statement uh, upload and uh, bank reconciliation automatically okay mm-hmm. so also let me tell you this is uh, this is uh, unless unless the person who is knowledgeable how to configure the things okay 
then they don't they will not be able to optimize the sap functionality in a uh, uh, in a better way okay the person who is uh, implementing whatever be the function not only bank statement whether it is cash forecasting report okay or uh, debt management or anything right if they must have some knowledge and experience then only they can value uh, add the more value to the the implementation otherwise they don't know what they are doing how to configure the electronic bank statement if they go and try to do they don't know what they are doing is difficult they must learn put their mind put their knowledge and think wisely and understand the functionality and optimize the process then only it will help the client okay so some implementers will go and i have seen the implementations where accenture or pwc involved and uh, the the client is i i i am pity about the client because <laughs> at the end of the day pwc or kpmg they made their money a walk away right <laughs> but the sufferer is the client <laughs> yeah okay so that 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 mostly i have seen not only many clients like that Mm, okay that's, that's but nice. the person yeah that is the important the perception of the consultant is very important how they should always think how to add the value to the client yeah okay. so that i would also pitch in with one more point i i truly agree with you first of all you know getting a very good fico consultants is not uh, luxury in all of the projects on top of that when you are implementing these kind of advanced modules fscm getting a guy who's expert yeah. in treasury management or who has a right perception he knows the things what need to be done what need to be suggested mm-hmm. to the client is purely a luxury to the client because there are very few people available so we yeah. are in discussion with uh, shivansh and uh, mani that we would be coming up with the small course uh, mani is too busy he would be giving one of the consultant and we can train people on sap treasury so that when we have more implementation in fscm you can pitch in with the bet- better opportunity so very soon we would be coming up with the course on sap treasury management yeah mani yeah yeah so the this is about the uh, uh, debt and investment management and then financial risk management is uh, like uh, uh, how to mitigate the risk okay uh, there are uh, portfolio risk uh, 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 functionality okay uh, market risk Uh, MRA, market risk analyzer, okay, credit risk analyzer. Those are the functionalities that are available within the uh, SAP FSM application. Okay, so those those things will help the client on the uh, uh, those in order to understand those those are bit technical things. I would say that unless you work in the risk areas in organization, difficult to understand. Okay. so what is the what does that mean is so sometimes uh, the market yield is the one which will ca- cause you the uh, 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 to make the right decision okay uh, how to calculate the market yield mra will help market risk analyzer will help based on the uh, yield curve analysis okay different based on the uh, i am not sure whether we able to go that level of the, how, what are the discounted rates what are the zero based rates in the market because there are what we know is only deposit rates only we know okay over and above that if you go through the uh, market okay they, there are various factors uh, various rates they follow okay shock up and shock down if the market moves 50 basis points of variable interest rate what will happen to the market okay if the if the variable interest rates go down by 50 basis points down what will happen to the market what will happen to the bond prices what will happen to the treasury prices these are all the analysis which will built in within mra uh, market risk analyzer and uh, give the um, uh, some analysis to the uh, risk controller okay uh, to make the decision the credit risk analyzer will help uh, for example my total portfolio of the investment i don't want to expose more than 5% to the 
more than 5% to the banking industry okay so the credit risk analyzer will help the such kind of analysis where my investment going above or and above my total portfolio or than more than 5% with the banking industry investment so credit risk analyzer will help similarly the currency also i should not invest more than 10% in the in one particular currency so if any investment going more than 10 more than 10% this credit risk analyzer will give the red flag okay these are the risk and risk uh, 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 management will help uh, in order to identify the risk and mitigate the risk plan okay and the shared capabilities is too advanced and still these are these are uh, like machine learning and predictive analysis okay um, working capital management treasury governance and commodity risk management trade finance these are the new thing okay trade finance i told you this is like the letters of credit okay or bank guarantees these things will be managed via the trade finance commodity risk management is like you you enter you buy the commodities like a, with the forward rate uh, like a, like currency like currencies you want to buy okay so similarly you can buy the commodities as well treasury governance i'm not sure on that one it is like a, you are building the controls within the treasury department and working capital management is uh, is keeping up your current assets current liabilities like apr these things machine learning and predictive analysis is like uh, um, it is something still in a not a matured functionality yet in sap okay still 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 cooking up still a cooking product up, in between but right? uh, without without talking machine learning thing or ia or something nobody buy sap as well nowadays <laughs> right. so that's why sap has to sell even the, those words okay uh, that is about uh, the basic parts only that one but uh, whatever i am going through next slides are explaining whatever i explained earlier the same things are the the uh, are the next sub subsequent slides also has the same information whatever i explained in the first two, two slides okay yeah. but so, this is in bit more detail okay yeah. so what what we can what i would suggest money that uh, we we will upload this slide deck so that people mm -hmm. can also go through on on their own so in our mm -hmm. step up circle in teachable will upload this slides and we'll come up with one more session because the topic is so deep and you are also so mm -hmm. deep in explaining so i think we can do a quick one more session maybe next month or we can give a gap of two months and then we can come sure, up with sure, one more sure. session on treasury management and at that okay. time we will also try to show some system so that people can also have a glimpse of mm. it Makes but, sense. Mm. yeah but for me one thing is the eye opener is financial risk management i remember that couple of years ago uh, during the pre sales uh, client asked that we need a financial risk management solution and i was looking towards my fico consultant and he was looking towards to me said what it is i don't know but this is eye opener mm -hmm. to me that it is it is it is delivered through the sap treasury management under fscm so that's that's good point which i have noted i hope you guys have also noted very good points i have already shared the link to give the quiz and we would be awarding top 3 winners so if you have not seen the link it is in the chat window please click on uh, money is it a good time to go for quiz yeah so let's do let's do the quiz part we'll go we'll go with the quiz and then we would be uh, uh, opening the session for question and answers so we will announce the three winners you will see in front of you it would be, it would be very uh, gamifying mode of the training you will really enjoy that part uh, participating in the quiz i can see a lot of participants has already joined by clicking on the link uh uh you guys can also join quickly i will share my link and then we'll start the quiz okay if anyone has not joined uh, it's it's on the menti.com i am sharing the link again and now i am sharing my slide i am sharing my screen yeah um, money is it okay i can take yes, it from please. there yeah yeah take care okay we have already 12 people in here okay so we would be uh, starting this quiz quickly people can join in 
clicking the link has been given or you can also see on the top www.menti.com and you can use the code 84815708 quickly join it so let me again tell the prizes the first prize is uh, free training of a to z of for uh, uh, function a to z of fury for functional consultant that course has been cooked by myself uh, and the full course will give free of cost to the to the top winner in addition to that we'll be giving a 20 percent discount voucher you can also buy any another course uh, uh, with the 20 percent discount the second winner and third winner will also get 20 percent discount voucher okay so that is the one so how the scoring would happen there's a five simple questions you need to answer the right question okay and you need to answer fast okay answer the right question answer fast so the system would be calculating whoever has given the right answer but plus who has given the faster so that's how it will give the points and you will come at the top everyone is ready please on the chat window ready to go rtg on the chat window if you are ready all set to go rtg on the chat window quickly thank you jagdish thank you ashish thank you bupender so let's go. Everybody is ready. Let's go. Thank you, Bala. I know there are a few questions on the chat window which we need to answer. After this uh, quiz, we'll be answering it. Okay, let's start. Let's start the game. So here it goes, the first question. So this is the first question. Uh, let me switch off our video so that you can see the full screen. So in your screen, you would be seeing the question and the timer has start. What is main objective of treasury function in an organization? Quickly answer it. Three seconds to go, one second to go. Time's up. Wow, 10 people has answered it correctly. Good to know, 10 people has answered it correctly. Now let's quickly see, you can see my screen and we'll see that who is on the top. Okay, let's the, let's the point table begin. Wow, 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 wow. Vadi Raj is stopping, Seth is second with very marginal difference and Muni Madi is third with 893 points. That's, that's good to see the top 10 contestants here. You can also see Vadi Raj is stopping. So Seth and Muni, focus on the next question and try to answer as, as fast as possible because next I want you to see to go on top okay so let's ready for the next question let's go for the next question it will be on this on your screen now and there are no lifelines okay <laughs> okay computer g next question question two of five is coming here What will be a treasurer in a company responsible for? What would be uh, what will be a treasurer? It's question for treasurer in a company responsible for. Only 15 seconds are there. Quick, fast, fast. Three, two, one. Same samapti ki ghoshna. Okay, again, 10 people answer it correctly. Ensure cash availability for short, mid, and long term leads. Let's see, let's see how the table looks like now. Points table, let's see. Oh, Imran is now on the top. Wow, you see how the switch, switch happened? Imran is on the top. Uh, Dheeraj Kaul came now on the second position. ANJ came on the third. And Wadi Raj, you are on the fourth position now see how the table switch switch muni has moved down not a big difference not a big <laughs> what difference. a big difference it's just <laughs> that's great imran is now topping let's see he's the fastest one to answer so here we go for the third question okay make sure you are quick on your screens question three of five is coming now How does SAP cash management helps the treasurer in a company? Okay, only 15 seconds. How does SAP cash management helps the treasurer in a company? 
increase cash on hand, provide the better cash flow visibility, provide easy way to do cash transaction. Time's up. <laughs> Again, 10 people have answered it correctly. Provide the better cash flow visibility. Well, wow. provide the better, flow, better cash flow visibility. Let's see now how the table looks like. Let's see who is the top of the table. Imran was at the top. Let's see what happens now. Okay, Imran is still on the top and Darshan comes to the second position. So Imran, Darshan and DK are there, but Muni is not much behind. Jagdish is not much behind. There's a very small difference is there. Viru is there. Even this, this, this is so that, that even for the last question also, the people who are at the bottom can come on the top. Okay, so you are still in the competition. Ready for the next question? Let's let's go ahead. Question four or five is coming now on your screen. Question number four or five coming now. SAP cash management is integrated with what other application in SAP? Okay, fast, 15 seconds only. Production quality or all SAP application with in which cash is part of it. Time's up. 11 people has uh, answered it correctly. Great. 11 people has answered it correctly. Let's see. Let's see the table now. Who is the winner? Oh, only the bottom part changed. The top part remain as it is. Imran, Darshan, and DK. I hope you you already know, don't know the paper, Imran, Darshan. Oh. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. Looks good. But now the chance is very good chance for Muni, Umesh, Jagdish with the last question just to flip over the table. Come on, Muni, Umesh, Jagdish. You have a chance. Let's do it. Last question is coming up. Be quick. Okay. The The, the key thing is be quick. And uh, uh, Bhopender, I hope you will take the screenshot. Okay, be quick on your screens. Question number five is coming up. Here it goes. What is the source of SAP cash forecast when data source from application is not available? I think <laughs> cash memo. This one not covered. Sorry. Yeah, let's let's see. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Only three seconds remaining. Two, one, here we go. 10, wow. cash memo. Five people answered wrong. Are you ready to see the final? <laughs> Are you excited to see the results? Okay. If you, if you want to see it, I want you to type on the chat, with, chat window, bring it on, B-I-O, B-I-O on the chat window, bring it on. Bring it on. Dheeraj is saying. <laughs> Bring it on. BIO. Come on. BIO. Thank you. Thank you, Bengtesh. Thank you, Imran. Bring it on. Imran looks confident. He would he's going to win it. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, here we go with the results. Let's see. Oh, 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 my God, flip over. Do you see the flip over? Darshan is the winner with 4404 points. Congratulations, Darshan. You win uh, SAP Fiori A to Z for functional consultant. You win that. DK, DK, I, I guess it's Dheeraj Khol. And then Muni Madhi and Darshan, you also received uh 20 percent of the discount vouchers you would be getting it uh, uh over the email we'll be sending it to you i will take a quick screenshot okay and then we'll go to the question but it, it was a good fun imran yeah, you really it played well huh? thank you thank you it was a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's a good activity actually dheeraj suggested it thanks dheeraj, for suggesting yes. this yeah congratulations darshan Thank you, thank you. Okay, great, great.
ओके वाओ धीरज सिंह प्लीज गिव माय प्राइस टू रैंक फोर थैंक यू टू बी दैट ग्रेट धीरज सो वी आर ट्रांसफरिंग द प्राइस टू जगदीश वी आर ट्रांसफरिंग टू जगदीश कोठारी सो जगदीश यू वुड आल्सो बी गेटिंग 20 परसेंट ऑफ ओके बिकॉज धीरज इज गिविंग इट गिविंग अप अवे हिज प्राइस टू यू थैंक यू धीरज फॉर दैट so we'll be doing more quiz uh, like that uh, it was really fun even i really enjoyed it more than you guys okay so we have taken the screenshot i'm um, stop sharing it and let's uh, go into the same window okay so uh, uh, now we have open questions and answers okay so there are couple of questions which need to be answered uh, it was from setu uh, balaji umesh okay setu balaji umesh and rajesh also has a question so imran also has a question so you guys can feel free one by one to unmute yourself and ask your question to mani and then we'll switch to the career consulting questions okay who wants to take it first by the time hi. you are unmuting and answering uh, mm -hmm. this is jagdish uh, hi mani san uh, right now i am in japan that's why i'm calling san <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jagdish Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Parminder Sam. Uh, actually, uh, I, I have the opportunity to work in the treasury uh, for the coming project, but I want to understand uh, why uh, SAP is uh, charging separately for the treasury module. Like, why it is not part hmm. of uh, SAP package? Yeah, I think uh, this is SAP. Generally, will do the same thing. And not only SAP, any any kind of software vendor uh, yeah. sell the applications based on their usage, user base, and uh, uh, many criteria will be there. Why I don't have answer, but that is how even Microsoft they they sell the packages separately. Similarly, everybody. I think like, SAP is not an exception to that, but uh, they sell within cash money within SAP Treasury. Uh, I I hear that all the Treasury applications the package is in one uh, uh, one bundle. Mani, I have an answer yeah. for it. Why? Shall hmm. I give it? Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Let me tell you, Jagdish, if SAP give it with the standard package of SAP S4 HANA. the life of fico consult consultant would be pathetic because when you give so many features to client implementing a software even a basic software becomes very difficult because when client see so many features they want to get it implemented and these kind of functionalities not only that the functionalities are good it also requires some maturity at the client end so that they can adopt it now you can feel that you know that full fscm functionalities everything with full fi full co everything has been given to a package to a client and then he would be very confused ki pehle kya karna hai it look very lucrative ki treasury management bhi kar lo cash management bhi kar lo other functionalities bhi dal do fi we do co we do asset management we do so implementing all of these things together would be very difficult so in a way i really appreciate that it is separate otherwise for a consultant it would be very difficult job to convince ki select Select the selective things and do that first, okay. And definitely, the second answer: SAP wants to make money. <laughs> they are not, they are not uh, NGOs, right? <laughs> they open it to make money. That's why the additional functionality, additional money. Yeah, and one more is like uh, I uh, like uh, when they asked me to suggest something for the forex transactions in the current client, mm -hmm. I have suggested them to go for the treasury. But they said uh, the, uh, it is not sufficient for the budget. Depending upon the company uh, net worth, they are uh, charging for uh, giving the treasury module, not based on the some user licenses. Uh, is yeah, there yeah, any yeah. idea to you, Manishan, regarding this? I think uh, the, the, this is the standard. Normally, they go by AUM and they, they go by sales. Okay. for different yeah. different industry they use different criteria to maximize their revenue sap okay, okay. so yeah. i think uh, if it is a manufacturing they use the sales as a uh, uh, sales is a one thing and of course user also they will consider how many licenses like 1000 licenses they need for treasury maybe 10 licenses or 15 licenses they will sell but they use a 
uh, if it is a manufacturing industry, they use the sales as a, this one. If it is a bank or insurance, they use the AUM, assessment for management. Or if it is hospitality, they use other criteria, number of uh, uh, customers or number of patients, some kind of thing they will use. So yeah, very yeah. true. I, I completely agree with money, Jagdish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> SAP, how much they charge for particular things totally depends customer to customer, totally depends industry to industry, totally depends how you are negotiating. A lot of companies, customers are demanding that it should be settled down and there should be some basics to it. SAP is working when they are moving to the cloud solution, they are working okay, they put the basic criteria. But a lot of clients I have seen that these kind of functionalities SAP delivered it with the 50% discount, 70% discount. SAP said, you, you buy this also together, you buy this success factor also, you buy, if you buy these three, I give this free of cost and other functionality for next three years. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. So that kind of things SAP offers. So there's no straight away answer to it that how mm, much they would yeah. be charging for it. So, yeah, I will ask one final question. <laughs> Sorry uh -huh. for uh -huh. others. Yeah, like, is there any integration between the uh, SAP Treasury and uh, uh, that uh, uh, Treasury and cash, uh, recently coming one module? Like, uh, which one? Central Finance. Yeah, Central Finance. Is there any Central integration? Finance. Yes. Central Finance. Yes, exactly. Like, uh, for uh, finance and controlling, uh, we know, like, we are uh, passing day to day transactions to the Mm, uh, yeah, it is, it is, for it a reporting, is. consolidation reporting, and normal yeah, reporting. It is, it is, it is integrated. Yes, it is integrated. It right? is integrated. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much, Manish and yeah. thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Central Manish. finance is integrated. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Jagdish San, to ask such interesting questions. Yeah. Thank you. Who is going to go next? Hey, Parminda, this is Seth here. Hi, Mani. It was a good discussion. A lot yeah, of information. Yeah. I want to thank you for that. Uh, the question I had was, you were mentioning about the workflow for the payment batch. Mm -hmm. And uh, the payment batch workflow approval process, is it for the summary amount for the payment batch or for the individual line item amount? Okay, the payment batch, uh, it is a summary amount, but when you drill down, okay, uh, it will give the detailed uh, line items for each and every vendor, the way the, they can navigate the until the purchase order. Okay, if, if, the, if the approver want to see, they, at the higher level, they see the batch amount, okay? Then once they click down, they see the details of the vendor line items. Once they click again, uh, they can see the, uh, the invoice line items. If they click down, uh, down the line, they can go until the purchase order. So that means the drill down capability will give them much more granularity of the information. And the other question I had was, uh, you did mention that the bank can reject the payment batch. Uh, so if they, if the bank rejects the payment batch, does uh, give more details on what's the reason for rejection? Payment batch rejection, no, they only reject the payments in general. Payment batch rejection only happens if the file is not right. The, that, that can happen, uh, suppose you are sending the message if the bank is not registered, if your SWIFT code, client SWIFT code, for example, they will reject the whole file, the whole payment batch, okay? So those kind of incidents may be very rare, but those kind of incidents happen only at the time of beginning. It doesn't happen in the normal day-to-day -day life, okay? That means during the stabilization or hypercare, the moment when you go live, those kinds of incidents happen where the payment batch, full batch will be rejected, okay? Because of some, some code is missing or some criteria is missing, which, which requires bank to accept such kind of files. Okay, SWIFT will send the files as per their format, but bank receives, if they find in the header record some, something is not right, it will be, the whole batch will be rejected, okay? okay. So, Normally, once you stabilize hypercare, then, then normally you won't see such kind of file batch rejection. You may see the individual payment rejection. Well, thank you, Mani. Uh, thanks, Parminda. It was a very good session. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Setu. Any other question? Any last question? Last two questions quickly. 
Umesh, go uh, yeah. ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is Umesh. Uh, uh, I am actually right now on a on a on a project where um, you know it's converting from IFRS four to IFRS seventeen. So mm -hmm. they were using a product called financial product subledger. So is there any relation um, with that product with the treasury management or is it sub sub separate something standalone product or uh, can I just uh, give some idea on that money? Yeah, but uh, oh, I, I want to understand a bit more on this. I have for, you told me that you are working on IFRS 4 to 17. Yeah, that's and, project. Uh, uh, that's the project. Uh, but you are and which product you are looking at? Uh, the financial product subledger, FPSL. FPSL, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, I understand. But I am not much familiar on the FPSL. But mm. what is your question about that? So the question is: Is that um, the the FPSL and the treasury management is is there any relation with that? Yeah, but in terms of the uh, harvesting the cash flows, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 cash. Yeah, any, 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 any kind of any application within SAP which has a cash flow, treasury will capture that. Okay, because the thing treasury is that I don't see any treasury management related applications in this uh, project, but okay, they do only FPSL. That's why, and mm -hmm. I think FPSL is only required for that you know reporting purpose. I understand. So. Yes, yes, yes. I understand oh, okay. your requirement. But if the okay. treasury management is implemented. The cash per cash report will harvest that that cash those cash flows as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, Mani, okay. we are finishing this session uh, with you, and I am really you. grateful and thankful to you. You spared Thank some you time me, and joined us uh, yeah. in this session, and the explanations were very good. You also answered a lot of questions. Yeah. I hope it mm -hmm. would be helping up a lot of people. It it might have helped a lot of people. Uh, yeah. uh, with this session, and we would be coming with uh, one more session with you. Yeah, let us Maybe... let us do one more. Yeah, yeah, let's do one thank more. Thank you, Parminder. Thank you, everybody. I think, you. Uh, yeah, with your permission, I will take leave now. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank, thank you, you, you Dheeraj. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye.